Okay, three, two, one. Hey there you guys, William here with another episode of Civilization V. I am here with my friend Sam. Sam, say hi. Well, hello. We literally just finished recording the last one. And we're just sort of continuing our game here. It is fun. I am, I've actually just reached America to provide assistance against their barbarian problems. Oh yes, and then we're going to need you against Russia, because eventually Russia will just, you know, decide to take over the world and shit. If your economy gets good enough, I might just give you these units. If not, then I'll just leave them over here to help defend against Russia. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm at plus four. I don't think I can take any military yet. Because I have lots of military units already in my home territory. Mm -hmm. So I don't actually need any of these units that I'm sending to you right now. Cool. Alrighty. That's good. Well, I mean... Hey, I discovered Mount Kalash... Something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was mentioning that. Mount, uh... Something. Mount... My Ka Mount Kailash. Oh, fuck! There's an encampment right next to it. Holy shit! How did I not see that? What the fuck? Okay, I'm freaking out now, because... Do you have any military near there? No. I mean, it's literally right by the horseman that stole the other worker I had. I mean, huh. I got the other one back, but... Well, thank you for telling me where that encampment is. I'll head there right away. I have military near there. Yeah, what, once you move into my border, I think you'll be able to see them. Considering how, um... Unit view works. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Well, you're a bunch of... Well... Oh, okay. Shit. It was... <laughs> you were waiting on me. Fuck. Yes. No rush, my dude. I just no have Russian. fun playing. No rushing. In fact, I should be able to win back these workers for you this turn. There you go. Holy shit. Thank you for that, my dude. No problemo. Now, next turn, I'll be able to disband the encampment. Yep. Oh, well, shit. What are they doing? Who? I told my workers to go automate, and for some reason, they decided to jump the border. <laughs> Evacuate the country. They've been invaded too many times. Oh, God. Oh, well, there's some ruins on Cuba if you want to go get those. Yeah, I actually do. I mean, now that we can, um... Yeah... Yeah, I actually, I think I, oh, I pointed those out earlier. Um, in the first recording, I think. I mean, I know that that part was probably not in the video, no, but. Hmm. Fourth wall breaking is fantastic. Yes. Oh, I think I know why they jumped the, the, co the, uh, the coast. Why? It's because they have to go around your units. I think they're trying oh, to sure. upgrade the cattle. Or they're oh. trying to build on the cattle. That's oh, awesome. yeah, because they have to go around my units. Yeah. Yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, even when you're a seasoned player, you forget shit sometimes. Yes. I love this game. Indeed. But it's not as good as Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, seriously. Um, Ever since I kind of figured out how to get Fallout New Vegas to run... Or at least let it run in the way that it wants to. It's way better. I mean, not that I played with the graphical settings, but I kind of like having a bigger screen because I'm running it at like, I think, 800 by 450, which is a bit of a small screen. And also, the screen tends to go up to the upper left-hand corner, which is irritating for me, but I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. But it is so much more fun. And I have to admit... Now that I can actually, especially particularly indoors, I can actually aim down the sight and not have to rely on that. Yeah. I've been able to get headshots and sneak kills. And also that suppressor, that fucking varmint rifle suppressor. Fucking. Yes! Sorry. I'm just fucking happy. Yeah. Also, I get, I think, and this is a very fair point, but. I feel like I'm getting a lot more caps than usual, and I haven't invested in anything that boosts caps. Huh. That's weird. So, I'm not really sure what that's about, but I have a feeling it's just, um... I mean, I don't know. It's probably just natural. Or some shit. 
actually what really irritates me is the fact that um, not too far from Washington is, or at least four tiles away from where the capital is, yeah. um, is a thing of stone, and I really want that to finally just, you Get know. done with it? Well, go over it and then be worked on, because, I mean, you can't do that unless it's in your order, which is kind of gay, but, you know. Right. Actually, hold it. Um, uh, unit list, unit list, where are where the fuck are my workers? Where the fuck are you? The ones that leave the ship? No, they... no, no. I know where those guys are. I'm talking about the other one. I have two sets of workers. Hmm. Oh. oh. Huh. Okay. That's weird. But okay. That's fine. What happened? Um, apparently my work, my other pair of workers decided to go over to Boston and start working on shit. Oh, yeah. When you build new city workers, we'll put that new city as a pri priority. Also, my happiness problem might be fixed because, you know, building a new city, it dips. What happened? Sorry, my brother came in and was talking instead of talking. Oh, okay. But... Um, I guess, I mean, this kind of works to my advantage because the tile that they've, they're hovering ab above, which they're going to work on next turn, hmm. is Coco. Hmm. Which, besides giving me a monetary boost, when that's finally built... You know, it'll um, actually do shit. Hmm. Also, does anyone have any tourism right now? I don't know. Ooh, that's I don't think policy. Any, I don't think anyone does. I think tur tourism is kind of gay, and it really doesn't become relevant. Are like really doesn't have an impact until like really late in the game. I mean, because that's when you start really getting um, great people like artists and shit. Particularly because it's how probably because how you built yourself if you were smart about it. But the other thing is, um, and you know, I was watching uh, to go uh, a little bit differently in my discussion. I was watching um, a guy talk about this game, or he was reviewing it, and this was before any of the DLC had been released. And yeah. he mentioned how in multiplayer, they removed the movement and combat animations. Huh. So I I was just, I suspect that they just added them back in once the expansions kind of went down, you know? Yeah. Also, technically this game has only had two real expansions. All that other shit is extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I really don't think I'd want to play this game with just uh, gods and kings. Yeah, I gods and kings that... adds a bunch, but Brave New World is really like the big one. Yeah, I think probably what um, gods and kings did was it added the re the faith system and whatever. Yeah, yeah, added faith, religions, and stuff like that. Yeah. And then Brave New World probably added the tourism, like some of the technology, because, I mean, there's a whole new era to the game that wasn't in previously. <laughs> the information era, I believe it's called. Which, you know, I, I feel like they're making some kind of an allegory joke with that. I'm not sure how, but, you know. <laughs> or I wouldn't say an allegory, but, you know, it, it feels like... Um, yeah. Making a wink and a nod to something. Yeah. God damn it! Why do workers have to be four hundred twenty fucking gold? Because fuck you! Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh well, you know what? Fuck the game. <laughs> Literally, take a digital, t take the digital file out of the game, make it a physical thing on the CD, and fuck the CD. It won't. It'll only last for about minutes. If at all. <laughs> Not that I would know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to expanding south before um, a couple things. But until then... Actually, honestly, I think I'm just going to have my um, archers be the ones moving around. I think I'm just going to keep my spearmen in... Um, near my capital. 
just so in case, you know, someone comes over to play, and hopefully I wreck their shit. Mm. Let's see, I think I was working on chivalry. No, Mellow Castle. Actually, that would be really beneficial if I worked on chil chivalry. That would give me access to pikemen. Yeah. Pikemen are amazing. Well, yeah. I mean, they're not that amazing, honestly. They just built, like, three more units of them. <clears throat> oh, goody. Oh. War Catherine has declared war on Catherine New. Well... I guess she doesn't like Kathmandu. I think it's because Kathmandu is following my religion, and she doesn't like my religion. Oh. Uh, well, you know what? She can get over herself. Intolerant bitch. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to discover the whole continent, so... You know what? Have you discovered the... You should try and be... You'll probably be the one that will discover the world as well. Yeah. Which I think gives you a boost to, um, your, um, your production, which is weird. Um, actually, what interests me, and I don't think a lot of people probably use them, but the land Snack or something like that, it's a German unit, or it's, um, it's a German name, anyway. But it's in civil service. The only way, however, you can build one is if um, you've adopted commerce to the point where you've adopted the mercenary policy. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, because I remember once adopting commerce for it. Yeah, once you've adopted commerce and then adopted mil um, the military army. Which, they're supposed to be stronger than the pikemen. Hmm. But, the and also, I don't think, let's see, what else about them is, yeah, they are cheaper than pikemen, can pillage without using any movement points, and they steal gold when attacking cities. However, they cannot be built, they must be purchased. Huh. However, they don't have, um, spawn sickness. You know, where you can't move if you buy a unit? They can oh, move. Oh, yeah. yeah. After being purchased, which kind of makes sense. I mean, that's the only, it's not like they can be produced, so it's the only way you can get them. I might trade with Catherine just because I need the money. Also, she might have some shit now. Also, the horsemen down south are dumbasses. They, um, there was a camp down in the south where, um, there's some, there were some bowmen, you know, who started it. Who? And they make horsemen. I kill the bowmen with my archers. Instead of the horsemen attacking fucker. What? I don't want atheism. Fuck off. Oh, okay. I mean, probably will happen eventually, but god damn it. Well, do you want to fall to Russia's religion? No, I want my own religion and tell Russia to go fuck itself. There's no religious slots available. What do you mean? Every religion has already been founded. Or all. Yeah, um, there's no religions that can be founded anymore. Because of the size of the map, it's only letting us found six religions for the whole game. And. So, okay, I get that Catherine's adapted to religion. Um, and... atheism is me, Catholicism is the Mayans, Eastern Orthodoxy is Russia, Hinduism uh... is an unknown, Islam is the Ottomans, and oh. Zoroastrianism is an unknown. So you okay. are a little late to the religion oh. thing. It says, overall status, religions that can still be found at zero. Okay. Well, fuck it. Eh. Whatever. You know what? Eh. God damn. Why is... Oh, I know why growth is so absurd on New York. Because shit got wrecked. Mm. 
Oh well. I guess I can just make uh I guess I can just make my uh country or my civilization the point of contention of where religions lie. Hmm. You know. <laughs> you want your holy war, you can have it here. It's just it's gonna be very, very slow and Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's the only way you're gonna you're gonna get it. Although the funny thing is, I mean, maybe it's probably because I'm so far away, I'm surprised I haven't been, like, I'm surprised trade routes haven't been established with me. Not saying I have too much to offer, but, you know, I have enough where it's worth it. I would, like, guess, to set up, I would like to set up a trade route with you, but You I need can't. to build cargo ships. Huh? Oh, you're too build, far away? like, harbors. Yeah, that occurs to me. Harbors make uh, your travel distance longer, I think. Yeah. I mean, because we can build cargo ships. They just can't go very far. Bro, oh, and someone's enhanced Catholicism. Huh, well then. Who is Catholicism? I don't that know. That would be the Mayan Empire. Ah, that's kind of... That is weird, considering that the Europeans yeah. killed millions of them. Yeah, holy shit. Do that. <laughs> um, I think Frax is just trying to tell us that it doesn't care about historical accuracy. Oh yeah, if you want historic if you want historical accuracy, play Total War. If you don't, play Civ. <laughs> yep. But admittedly, I think this is way more fun. But anyway, if it makes it any better. Before I decided to infect New York and Washington with atheism, I um I checked to see if you can actually still found your own religion. And I couldn't. And so. you couldn't, so I said, "Fuck it, he's eventually gonna fall to a religion. Might as well be mine." Might as well make it yours, huh? Might as well be mine. All right. That that sound logic. Bit of an asshole, but sound logic. Sound oh, logical. and that's convenient. <laughs> Don't want Russia to win a religious victory, a religious victory or anything. Well, we can't do that because we've disabled that. Oh yeah, it's on like domination, so we're just doing this for shits and giggles. Oh yeah, there's mm. ruins up in Canada. Yes, I'm. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know about that because I didn't admittedly discover a lot of um, the north. Because, you know, with Russia being there. Oh, yeah. This ship is very badly damaged, but I'm really hoping it makes it all the way around the world so I get the sailing around the world achievement. Hmm. Well, you won't get an achievement, per se, but you'll get... Well, you get an achievement if you're the first country in a game to sail around the world. And in all the games I've played, I have yet to do that. I think I did that in my first game ever once I had actually... Or uh, once you had shared the game with me. I think I did that particularly because I was playing with only two players and yeah. Where there's where are some hills? Okay, there's some. Alrighty. But yeah, you know the funny thing is there's another barbarian encampment down to the south here, and my bowmen are literally right by it, so it's like huh. yeah. Only the problem is I gotta make sure to be careful because they could still get wrecked by horsemen. Yeah. I mean, they won't get badly as wrecked, but still, you know. I wonder if it would, if I would allow. If I would wonder because of me being the capital, I'd become a holy city. Uh, no. I think that a capital city might become a holy city. If the original holy city is destroyed. Oh. Gotcha. Which, you know, now that I think about it, I think I've yet to have one of my cities destroyed. I like have. In, it's horrible. In any game I've ever played, I don't think it's ever gotten to that point. I had one of my cities destroyed by, like... Fuck, in that really big game I had going where I have over a million active soldiers. Mm-hmm. When I went to war with the Ottomans first, because they're almost as big as me and had almost as many, and had like, well, half as many soldiers, but that's still like 500,000. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they nuked one of my cities, and they nuked it like three times in a row, so it got destroyed. Damn it. What? The game really loves to fuck with my shit. Um, there's another fucking barbarian encampment. It's literally not too far from the last one I just destroyed. Where is it? It's, um, kind of the south, kind of a little to the southeast of Washington. Hmm. I'll check it out. I mean, I can handle it. I've got some spearmen heading that way, honestly, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it's still a fucking nuisance. Yes, I'm aware that I, my city has become... My entire country has become atheism. Atheist, so... Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Well, I don't benefit. You do. I get nothing from that. Although my happiness is at zero, but I'm thinking that's just from things being fixed. Um, I think that citizens that are atheists... I said it so their happiness goes up for every two cities that have it. Oh. So wait, you should increase. You say your happiness should increase slightly because of it. Wait a minute. So a religion doesn't just affect the person who owns it; it also affects anyone who's. It affects adopted. anyone who's following it as well. Any city that is following it, but the city Ooh. has to be majority of that religion. Well, yeah, obviously, because otherwise it's just very ambiguous to where where it will go cool I mean that's kind of convenient so eh I'm actually kind of glad I did uh, I mean I would like my own religion but eh it doesn't really bother me that much that I don't have it it's just more more for me cool nice sweet but yeah so your happiness should go up a little bit Oh, you know what? That's funny. Um, Cause, yeah, because you can have different traits with your religion. And I always uh -huh. go with hap one of them happiness and the other one money. Other one what? And I the other one out. money. I wow. do every two cities increases happiness and every two cities increases money as well. Money. money. Cool. That's, that's great. Anyone who's inspired near New York? What? Where? Oh. Oh, it's a fucking tremendous. Who gives a shit? I mean, I'll care if it were on a side of the coastline that actually bothered me, but it doesn't. Oh, Not. I discovered Belgrade. Discovered what? Uh, Belgrade, the city state. Oh, I was like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, Canada, the land of Tim Holton. Famous people like Avril Lavigne <laughs> and Ryan Gosling and Jim Carrey and Drake. <laughs> Don't ask where that came from. I just read it like, why did you sing that bullshit? <laughs> okay, let's begin wrecking this shit. Also... I'm not sure why this is, but for some reason, when your units reach level three, I'm guessing because of it's because it's against barbarians, but the unit damage will stagnate. Oh yeah, that is weird. Or the unit, um, not damage, um, uh, shit. What did I want to say? Not, um, not damage, but uh, XP. However, I noticed once you start attacking other civs or city states, it will actually start getting XP again. Hmm. Not sure why that is, but whatever, you know. It's fine. Also, I found out that uh, a golden age it doesn't really do as much as I thought in a way. Because it will, every tile, it says every tile that produces at least one gold will produce one extra. You're gaining 20% production and worldwide culture will be boosted by 20%. Huh. Which sounds great, but I mean, if you're sh really struggling, it's not going to really do much, honestly. Right. Hmm. I think I'm going to work on wonders again. 
What wonders am I currently building? I'm currently building Notre Dame. I don't think I can actually build Notre Dame because I don't think I'm at a tech level to do that. I haven't unlocked, um, what? Where is Notre Dame? Let me take a look. Oh, shit. Stupid. I hate this. Why? I hate that little, that thing that happened. Oh, you, oh, okay. Um, what have you adopted and allows you to make? Oh, you've adopted physics. That's why. Holy shit, that's a nice happiness boost. What? I think I knew that, and yet, it guess it didn't occur to me. It's also a nice faith increase. Wait, what? Oh, Notre Dame. You get plus 10 happiness for building it. You're gonna help you build that first, my dude. Uh, you want it? No, I mean, I can't really build it right now. Yeah, because I really need the happiness. My happiness is at negative... Four, I think. Ah, uh, darn. I built a caravan, but it's kind of useless because, well, I can't really trade with anybody. Russia's too far, too far north, well, um, and... You can trade a... between your own cities, I think, if you have the right technology. Yeah, the only problem is I'm only going to really do... It's only going to really do food, and I'm not really struggling with that. Ah. Uh. So I'm just going to lead it. Fuck it. That's the one you... thing I am struggling with is food. Feed your people. Stop being Kim Jong-il and feel your fucking Well, because, people. like, all... Because four of my five cities are built in frickin' Tundra where you can't hardly build any farms. Um... Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, like, most of my land... Well, not most of it, but, like... A good portion of it, all I set the builders to automate, so they build whatever's best improvement. And if there's nothing they can build there, they just build a fort. And like a big chunk of my land is just forts. Oh, I was like, okay, um, yeah. Well, can't you build trade posts there? I can. Oh, that that, that that's for money. That's not really much of any. Yeah. I don't have a money issue right now. No, of course you don't, because you have a fucking huge-ass military. Of course you don't have the problems with money. You wouldn't have a huge-ass military if you were struggling with your money. Actually, I would. I've I've had, like, a big-ass military making only, like, one gold per turn before. Wow. Cool. Got that finished. Okay, now I can see the combat. Yeah, they definitely, uh, that reviewer who did it, yeah, that, that problem's been fixed. Hmm. That reviewed this game before any DLC or anything showed up, yeah, that's been fixed. Hmm. Because remember, I said, normally when you do multiplayer, you wouldn't see any combat animations. The units would just jump, you know, directly oh, yeah. on you have to adjust a certain setting for that, I believe. No, it was well. That was before. Um, that was before any DLC had come out. This was like the base game. I actually don't even think we did a lot of multiplayer um, before everyone before we all bought the game. Yeah, or I did a lot of multiplayer before, before that because I have like three or four people here in Beaumont that have the game as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, but... shit. Why does it do that? Ooh, please produce the market quickly. New York. And now that there's a worker working on New York, you can actually start being... And I also hate the fact it reminds me every single time that there's an enemy unit. Um... Yeah. Hello? I kind of wanted to capture that, but that's fine, you know? Oh, yeah, shit, my bad. Here, um, I got, like, 40 gold from that. Here, I'll give you the gold. I don't need it. Okay. I mean, I'm not really struggling with money right now, but more, more money. Yeah, money. but that was, that was yours. I gotta send you a declaration of friendship first before I can give you gold, though. Uh-huh. 
Oh, yes. Because I have over 700 gold currently. Mm. Oh, yes. My happiness is going up. Yay. There you go. Now I'm not bleeding so much. Snaps. You know what's weird? <laughs> I don't what? know why I've ever done this, but I ever, I've been in scenarios where there have been other civs that when um, we reach a certain point in the game, I'm guessing they're struggling or something because they'll occasionally ask me for like over a thousand gold. And admittedly, that's a dip in the bucket for me at that point. But I'm just like, <laughs> you're really struggling that hard where you have to ask that much money? You know that's what's weird though? Is when... Civ, when other civs demand stuff from you, like ask for stuff from you, mm. it comes across like all friendly, like, oh, we're in trouble, we would really appreciate it if you helped us. Yeah. But when you demand stuff from them, they get all pissed. Well, I mean, they have to. It's a form of diplomacy. I mean, they don't always get mad, but you can sometimes tweak the deals. It's just very rare that they will actually take up anything. Actually, what I think is stupid is when I'm offered deals from from the AI, and when I click accept them, they say it's not enough. Like, I'm the one who proposed the deal, and I'm like, huh. if the deal wasn't going to work, why did you offer it to me? <laughs> I'm just like, what the I don't, I don't know. What kind of, what kind of fuck your cousin logic is that? <laughs> yeah. What kind of red deck fuck your cousin logic is that? Um, actually, now that my happiness is starting to climb, I can actually think about making another city. Hmm. Yes. And also, now that New York is not a potato. <laughs> yes. And we'll actually start growing again. Midly, it's still kind of a while before it'll... It's still kind of a while. But... You know oh. what's funny? Well, I don't know. What? Is that my ship that I sent to sort of explore the world and stuff? I'm having it heal up in a city state because because I'm Greece, so I can so I'm friends with all pretty much all the city states. Mm -hmm. um, I'm having it heal up in the city state's borders, and the city state and like these barbarians are just going at it with each other, and my ship is just sort of in the middle of it, just sort of sitting there trying to heal up and stuff, but not getting hit or anything, just sort of there. It's just like, um. I'm you seeing this I happen leave? right now, but not going to get into it. <laughs> no, it's like, should I, should I leave? It's like, it's like a married couple arguing. It's like, should I leave? Um, so if I need to leave, I'll, I'll leave, you know? Also, yeah. I guess I didn't even... I don't know why they didn't do this sooner, but my workers are beginning to build a road between New York and uh, Washington, huh. which will help a lot. Yeah, it should increase your finance. should increase your uh, money. Yes, my monies. Your monies. My mountains of money. I need mountains of money. I need yes. so much money to make I make the whole world bankrupt. To where they're paying me to survive. Hey, what do holy sites do? Um holy sites. Yeah, because I got a great profit and it let me build a holy site. Oh, that that's like um that's kinda like the Customs house or manufacturing plant, it'll boost faith. I'll give plus whatever. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of wish it did more because it sounds like it should, but eh, whatever. Honestly, the only thing I use great profits for really are either to boost religion or to build holy sites. Yeah. It didn't let me boost my religion last time with the great profit. What I mean by that is improve it, you know. Yeah. Actually, what I'd like to know is how you adopt the last part of the religion thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. That, fu that final part of it. Because, I mean, I know when you first get a great profit, you know, you make a religion. And then after yeah. that, you enhance it. Well, how do you get that final part of it? I don't know. I've never been able to figure that out. Oh, fuck you. I wasn't working on that, but I wanted that. Yep. Well, actually, you would have wanted that. Um, Hagia Sophia. Hmm. It gives you it gives you a great profit and also builds a te uh, automatically builds a temple in the city that's built. Huh. 
Which a temple is kind of an upgrade of a shrine, pretty much. It just yeah. gives you more um, yeah, yeah. thing. I'm working on expanding out into China, but I need Notre Dame to finish first so my happiness will actually be good enough. It's pronounced China. Yeah, yeah, it's pronounced China. I think we can make that joke until we can make that joke until we did. <clears throat> it would still be fine. Ish. Okay, you guys are building a road, which is good. You need, you need. I need a road. Wait, did you? What the fuck? What? Can you not build roads in jungles? You have to. Um. You can. What? Where are you trying to build it? Ah, oh, shit! I'll be right back. My bad. Be right back. Okay. Yep. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Well, it's not that I'm building it, it's that my workers are automatically doing it for me, and I just noticed they skipped a jungle tile. Huh. And I didn't think that was, I didn't think terrain was really a problem when it came to building roads. As far as I knew. I don't know, maybe they'll come back to it, I have no fucking clue. No clue. Anyway. And we're waiting on, okay, yeah. You yeah. Goody. You have a lot of bananas in your area. Yep. Yes, I do. I mean, on South America, I should have a lot of that shit. I really wish I had more cocoa, though, because that gives me money as well as production. Or yeah, as food. Um, if you mine these spices that are within range of New York, then you get four happiness. Oh. Well, that, uh... Oh, well, huh? You don't get four happiness. You get, um... Um, spices. Uh, when improved, plus four happiness. When worked by city, plus two gold. Oh. Well, that's weird, because it's not telling me that. But then maybe again, then again, it's not within my territory yet, so... Oh, yeah. It's a lot. Huh. Weird. Uh... Fuck off, horseman. So, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just focusing on getting my shit together. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's up? I have no idea. You just got. Oh, I really hope that was you that just built Notre Dame. I'm sorry. That's funny as hell. Damn it! It wasn't who, me. Who do you think built it? It says it's in a faraway land. So Mayans I... built it. Fuck you, Mayans. What do you need that for? I'm gonna yeah, fucking nice. denounce you. Um, don't you think that's a little extreme? No, it's not extreme. I fucking hate the dude. Well, I mean, extreme in the context that it's very early on in the game. So... Also, I wonder if maybe they changed the rules in the context of how victories work in um, different um, time play. Because you know on the standard, it's like 500 turns and then it's a win if yeah. you live that long. Yeah. But I wonder if, if you were playing like Epic or Marathon, it would change. Because if it's still 500 turns, that seems very unrealistic. I don't know. Well, we're on turn 322. Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's how long Epic's taking us, because normally at this point we'd probably be at guns and then some. Yeah. Well, probably not me. I don't know. Maybe not. Ah, we ended open borders with each other. We should probably reinstate that, because your units are still down in... Oh, wait, you can go around the ocean. Never mind. Yeah, we, we should probably reinstate that, though. Alright. Why am I bleeding money again? What the fuck is going on? Maybe you need to open trade routes. 
Yeah, the only problem is I don't think I'm in a location where I can really do that. At least efficiently. Oh, yeah. You need, like, a city state down there or something. Or if nothing else, I need some civ to be closer to me. I mean, I guess maybe I could trade with Catherine, but the closest city I could get to is St. Petersburg. Well, I have an, a settler. I could build a city in Mexico so we could trade. No. Stay in Russia and China. Okay. We That's don't. We don't want. We want. We want. We want to wreck the Ottomans first. Yes. You know, I wonder if my computer would complain if I actually upped the graphical quality on the, um, on the screen of. The dip um, on the leader screen. I mean, I'm not saying to turn up to max, but like up it a little bit more so maybe it's animated a little bit. Because hmm. I have a feeling it did that, like it automatically adjusted everything just so it kind of matched with. Oh, a barbarian encampment spawns near Boston. Yes, I'm aware. I am aware of this. And it's fucking dumb. Oh, shit. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're Boston, you're Boston. Yeah, well, wow, the man. second largest religion is actually Catholicism with the Mayans. Huh. And Russia is third, but with only three cities. And you are 92. First. Oh. With 12 cities. I wonder what the game would do if you actually put the max, if you actually put every single civilization on the map at once. It would freak the fuck out. <laughs> well, it would be a land struggle at the very beginning. That'd be hard as hell. Yeah. Well, this ship has gone as far as it can go. I'm going to destroy it. Hmm. Hey, I can have gunpowder in as little as 40 turns! Wait a minute. Aren't you already researching physics? Haven't you already researched physics? Yeah. Steel is taking you that long? Oh, oh, wait, wait. I wait, just wait, finished you're, steel. You, oh. Well, it's taking you 40 turns to build shit? Well, to build gunpowder, it's gonna take me 40 turns. Because I haven't what? built, like, biology or chivalry. Or oh. machinery yet. You've skipped some technology. Yeah. I try not to do that unless it actually doesn't really mean much. You know, honestly, you can't really skip any of the technology from the very beginning of the game because if you do, it'll just make everything kind of a struggle to do anything. Like, you practically have to complete the ancient era. I'm not saying you probably, you don't have to really complete, I don't think you have to really complete the classical era, but it's recommended that you do. So otherwise, you're just going to take upwards of like a really long time to do anything, and yeah. also there's going to be several kinds of units you can't build. Oh yeah, let's, let's have a brutes only run. Only units that fall in the same category, that only the unit brute and then onward is available hmm. meaning what they upgrade to which brutes upgrade to um not not by ruins but by just standard i think brutes upgrade to swordsman hmm. which good grief that is a tech challenge No, what the hell? What happened? Why am I taking a monetary dive? Oh, I know why. They're fucking building the road. I was wondering about that. I was like, wait, oh, yeah, roads taking... cost a lot of money. Well, they don't cost too much, but. Well, it's two gold per piece of road. Well, I was wondering why I was dipping. I was like, what? The... Oh, well wait. The other thing that, that contributed to the to the minus gold factor. Yeah. I just built a workboat. Huh. 
to uh, over on in Boston to start working on the fish. So that way, when I build the um, uh, lighthouse, it will actually give me some benefit. You know, maybe it's, I mean, maybe she's done something. It doesn't seem like Catherine's really doing a encampment to the north. Most of them are close to her, not really to me. Okay, I weakened their horsemen enough so where you can just go in for the kill. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to move my pikemen down to that new one that just spawned. Gotcha. Well, when you say spawn, do you mean they're outside the encampment or they're inside? No, they're inside the, the encampment. Okay, well then that was that that was fine. So I could I couldn't kill them all the way because you want to get rid of the encampment because it gives yeah, you yeah. benefits. But I could, uh, I could help you out by um, wounding the horsemen. Well, what it, I was more concerned about is if they had gone outside the encampment if they had moved, because. If they're inside the encampment, that doesn't bother me because I can easily chip them down to where they'll die. Yeah. But when they're outside, then we have a problem. And also now my spearmen have become pike, become pikemen. It's good. Yes, it's Gucci. Yeah, you know it's actually kind of gratifying when you're the when um you're dealing with barbarians and they're um. They're like three tech eras behind you. It's like the most hilarious thing to say. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, you want to put up a fight? Die in one hit. Because <laughs> I have guns. There we go. Shit. What? Okay, I don't know why my game does this, but for some reason when I play in online games, if I'm looking around, for some reason my mouse or something will get stuck on trying to move the camera. And we'll keep doing that against my control. I mean, it'll stop eventually, but I'm just like, why are you doing this? I'm not wanting to look way over there. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just my internet, you know, having a hitch a little bit. Not to where it's not working, but you know, it's just peaking a little bit. But, yeah. Okay, well. I am currently at, I'm currently, I'm not last, but I am third to last. I'm second. Yeah, who is ahead of you? I'm curious. The Mayans, actually. Why? Because their religion is second biggest, I think. Well, yours is first biggest. I think maybe they just had an area where they developed a much walk faster. Yeah, I, I think they're... Yeah, if I'm looking at their capital right now. Their cities... That... Um, my my Greek, Greek cities don't expand land nearly as fast, so you have to build more of them. Uh -huh. well, their cities take up a whole bunch of land really quickly, like America, do, like America does. Or rather, it's just a normal growth rate. Yeah, normal yours, growth rate. Yours is less, but you can build some... You can build cities faster, naturally. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's true to historical context, but it's still weird. Yeah. Wow, we have been playing for an hour after we finished recording the last one. Mm. It's already noon. It's high noon. It's high noon! I was about to say, have you seen that video? <laughs> it's high <laughs> You know, McCree's uh, alt isn't that powerful. Well, I mean, it's not as powerful as it used to be. It's not as, like, fear. <laughs> I mean, you just still have a reason to be afraid of it, but it's not, like, it's not God tier or something. Right. I mean, I'm sure every, I'm sure any fanboys in the audience who uh, are big fans of McCree will disagree with me, but, you know. I don't play Overwatch. I wouldn't know. I like Overwatch. I play it from time to time. You're gay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, that's fine. You like what you like. You like what you like, my dude. Man. Yes. Including butt sex. <laughs> Including, but not limited to, butt sex and nuclear Gandhi. Yes.
I have discovered theology. Nice. Mm, sweet. Ooh. My production amount went up. Nice. Okay. Where can I send these? Major civilizations. Can't send it anywhere. City states. Nowhere. My cities. Eh, I can send production to New York, but I don't think that'd be wise. I'm going to change it to City to New York. Because that's more sensible. Actually, you know, the funny thing is... Boston what? and New York are on coastlines, which is kind of accurate to the actual cities. Yeah. Because New York Harbor, Boston Harbor, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think that's funny. That's funny as hell. Uh, I hate the I hate the fact that there's a penalty for crossing a river. There's a movement penalty, you know. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but still irritating. Hell, if I had like a shit ton of workers, I'd just tell them to all to mow down all the forest. <clears throat> Make place bad as fuck, boy. <laughs> well, I mean, mow down everything that isn't um, a, a luxury resource, yeah. like bananas. Bananas and a couple other things. Ooh. Cool. Oh. Can't make anything now. Okay. I think it's stupid that great people cost money to maintain. Yeah. I mean, I just spawned a great artist, and it put me in the black, in the red. Huh. Well, they cost money to maintain until you use them. Yeah, I know. Oh gosh, darn it! I did not know that stone works give you happiness. Yeah, marble gives you production and happiness. I think. Like, well, I mean, what I mean by production is I think it boosts your production by, like, 10%. Yeah. Ah, oh, darn it. Can't trade with anybody. That's gay. Any other sip is what I'm trying to say. I know city, but I could do that, but I don't, I don't want to. Sleep. Oh, yeah. I mean... I'm working on Compass, which should give me access to Harbor, which will make things a lot, which will allow you to move, like, 30 tiles. Or it will give you a tile range of 30 for all of your trade units, or at least for your naval ones. And that should allow me to get to, like, Catherine and things like that. Gosh, why is with all these fucking Trememes just fucking... I mean, it's not really a problem. They're easily destroyed, but why are you here? I'm not doing anything. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, shh. I need, adopt I need to remember the next time I adopt a policy to adopt the one where if the unit's garrisoned in the city, it doesn't cost anything. Right. Where is... Have you removed that encampment down south? Uh, my units are actually almost there. It was pretty. It's pretty south. Yep, yep it is. My units are tailing you. They're a little way away. Okay. Wow, I adopted commerce and adopted wagon trains, and my gold went from plus 5 per turn to plus 17. You adopted commerce? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. The it gets you extra policy. gold. 
Yeah, the policy commerce. Yeah, also once we get to a certain point in the tech in this tech era, I think you can build Big Ben. The... Yeah. Um. Yeah. If you go into the industrial. Oh, that's cool. Um. Once we get to the industrial era, if you've adopted commerce, you can purchase great merchants with faith. Hmm. Yeah, nice. I distinctly recall that. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's true to honor, because I think with honor you can build um, great generals of faith once you reach the industrial era. Which, I don't understand why that's a thing then, instead of, you know, now. But whatever. Also, I, I can see that you're literally right by me. What? I can literally see that you're right by the encampment. Yeah. Working on because doing it. Archers can see shit from mountains very far. Yes. Oh, there's another encampment. I wonder where it is. Most likely right by right by one of my cities. Uh, most likely. Oh no, I haven't looked yet. It's in nope, Mexico. It's yeah, it's in Mexico. Southern Mexico. Yep. I'm sending a unit. Shit. Bobbin. Might need a little help with this encampment to the south. It just produced a swordsman. And that's the problem why? Because I only have one pikeman near there, and they have a pikeman and a swordsman. Oh, oh shit, okay. Well, I guess I can send my pikemen. I'll send my pikemen north. My archers are going to come down south and see if they can assist. Yeah, that'd be helpful. But otherwise, otherwise they, they have to go through a mountain of forest, and it's like, it's that's, that's just annoying. They spent all that time going down there. They don't want to go back up. <laughs> But they have no choice in that, because I will direct them where I want. I control their destiny. Are you I in range get... of arching these guys? Uh, almost. Need to move one more tile and then take another turn. To, you know, help prep for that. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. I was going to wait until I had somewhere to use you, great writer, but I think I'll just have you create culture. And next turn, I can adopt a policy. <laughs> okay, that's weird. What? My gold has now gone way up, but my happiness is now at negative one. Yeah, it's a it's a balance thing, I think. I don't, I don't, I don't know. get it. I mean, I'm trying everything to get fixed, and don't get why we're having a problem. What's the shit? What's the deal? Have I adopted something I don't know about, which is causing this? I don't think so. I don't know. God damn it. I'm guessing you see that, right? Uh, see what? The fact we have another encampment to worry about. Uh, and it's closer. Oh, I have a unit. I have two units near there. Eh, my, my pikemen are also heading that. Oh shit, yeah, they have made swordsmen. Um. See if maybe I can get something here. Oh! Yes! Sweet! I can do this. Not much damage, but it's not like the pikemen will. St you know, it evens the playing field a little bit. Mmm. Hmm. Well, 
What am I adopting? Great musician, great artist, great scientist. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. What would you choose if you were me? I'm actually tempted to adopt a great engineer. Again. Because, I mean, maybe, I just complete. Maybe do something that does happiness? I don't know what you need. Well, my happiness is now one. It's because I adapted the last policy of um, liberty, which any um, the happiness of um, happiness goes up because of or unhappiness is decreased because of trade routes and gold goes up a little bit. You know, connection with the capital. Oh. Um, oh, oh, oh. I am about to dis I am about to remove the holy city for the Ottomans. Mm. Uh I think I'm gonna do engineer. Or wait, maybe merchant. Fuck Okay, okay. Need to calm down. Um I almost want to do Great Admiral. The only thing is, it doesn't attack and it's useless. It oh, the Ottomans are going to fucking hate me for this, but they have a very small army and can't do shit. And they are annoying, and they are about to lose their holy city. Ooh. I mean, I'm not going to actually take their holy city from them. They'll still, have, they'll still have their capital. But Dude. it won't be a holy city anymore. What? Um, I'm about to... I am... Um, because... Because you can choose a great person, a uh, free great person, when you adopt all of liberty. I adopted a scientist, and I guess maybe they haven't gotten around to it yet. But if I construct uh, an academy, which is um, plus eight science, however, where I've got gonna build it, I'll lose one food, which isn't a problem because it's by Washington, which has the most development on it. Hmm. Um. I'll get plus one production, and then I'll get provide thirty more for removing the forest. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, good shit. Yes, jolly good show. Yeah, but I can't wait for Compass to finish. I want those trade routes, damn it. <laughs> That's the only way I'm really going to get money. Or at least more money than you than right now. Also, I wonder if I'd automatically... Because I'm at 200 right now, I wonder if next turn I would get... What? What happened? Why? What? I discovered for India. Reason, for some reason, my workers were captured. Hmm. I discovered India. Oh, I don't know why they were up there, but they were for some reason up on um, a hill, not too far from Boston. Well, kind of far from Boston, and they were captured. I'm guessing because of that encampment not too far from uh, New York. God damn it. Yeah, you might want to focus on eliminating that encampment in the north. Not the one in Mexico, but the one in, that's actually anywhere nearby me. Hmm. Swordsmen are idiots. Why didn't they attack me? They are idiots. Maybe they didn't feel as strategically uh, advantageous. Uh, the Ottomans only have two cities and both are about to be converted. I thought you were going to say you destroyed them and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, no. I mean, power to you, I guess. <laughs> Just like, whatever. Hmm. Can't make Circus Maximus, and I also can't make these two. God. Okay, that's one thing that's annoying about building another city, is if you're trying to get, go for wonders, you can't because you now need certain shit. That other cities don't have. Hmm. Boston is currently preventing me from building anything, but at the same time, 
it's also, you know, allowing me to do other shit. Hmm. Like stopping the spread of barbarian shit. Though it's currently not stopping them from fucking stealing my shit. Hmm. Wonder who's calling me. Which, by the way, um, I mean, it's gone now, but you remember that site I told you about, chrono.gg? Well. What? Oh, yeah? Um, well, yesterday, I mean, it ended at 8 this morning, but they had a deal where you could have gotten, um, Civ 6, the gold edition, I think. Because it came with the Rise and Fall DLC, as well as the DLC we have gotten with the Deluxe Edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was 65% off for, like, I think 35 bucks. Huh. And I'm like, that's great and everything, but the only way you can buy it is if you have, like, a card, which I don't. Mm -hmm. PayPal, which I think is stupid. Who really uses PayPal? Come on. I don't know. I thought PayPal died out. Yes, maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Honestly, right now, I think you're the one... I think because of your little spread... A little um, thing of spreading atheism to me... Um, I think it's keeping me, my head above the water. Because hmm. it's keeping my hat. I think it's what's keeping my happiness up and also the. my gold up a little bit. Hmm. Why isn't it letting me use my um, Inquisitor? On what? On their holy city. Does their so holy city have another religion? Oh, I have to infect part of our holy city with my religion first. Yeah, also, that, be careful, that could be a double-edged sword. Yeah. I one time tried using the Inquisitor, and it wiped the religion I had spread to it. Well, did you capture the Inquisitor, or build it yourself? I built it myself. Huh. I think it just wipes out all religion. No, I, I think in Holy Cities you can't use the Inquisitor. You just have to overpower the Holy City with your missionaries or prophets. I think I think the Inquisitor, um, the Holy City is immune to the Inquisitor's effect. I just I just looked it up on the wiki. It says that they can be used to uh, get rid of a Holy City. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I thought it said somewhere in the game's actual uh, Civilpedia... I think it, I thought it said something about the unit not being able to do that. Hmm. What do I know? Hmm. Wait a minute. Was there a worker in that? Um. There wasn't a worker in that camp, was there? There, um, there's a worker that a horseman is guarding. Okay. That's mine. Where did the horseman go? So, ah, there it is. Hmm. Oh. Well, shit. I wish I hadn't moved yet. Otherwise, I would have taken them. Or I would have tried. I possibly could the next turn if they don't move. Oh, please don't go and destroy my ship, please. I don't want you. I don't want you. Can, can, can you not? Please. Please. Please, can you not? Actual control to change it. Mm-hmm. See, I knew. The Inquisitor doesn't work on other cities. Or in cities that aren't yours. Yeah. Which historically makes sense, because that's what they were for. That shit, I'm getting it. a call. One moment. Be back. Okay. 
Fucking wrong number call. But anyway, I do need to get going pretty soon. Alright. You want to end it? Yeah, sure. We can end it now. Yeah, well, you, right, you let me just see what I can yeah. do. Yeah, but let's say take your turn before we do that. Yeah. So that way, when we start back up, you know, turn will be fresh. Yeah, yeah. Shit. You do that. Anyway. Oh. Oh! What? I guess... Um, well, I guess the Mayans, or the Mayans or whatever, have entered the Renaissance era. Hmm. Neat. Because I have a spy now. I also have a spy. Let's go steal shit from them. Yes. Oh, well, I would, except I, 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 I don't, so I can't. Yeah, I did you a favor by doing that, by the way. Hmm. Although, while I'm at it, since I can, I'm going to murder you. Those workers that the barbarians captured? Uh-huh. I don't think we can get them back. How's that? Well, the horsemen took them into the ocean. Shit. Oh. Okay. See if I can maybe do this. I can possibly get them back if I can quickly hop the hop the coast. Because they can't go very can't go really go any really far. Right. However, they might go for that encampment in the north. Um But anyway, yeah, I I think I'm gonna end it here. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm sending Sending my spy to uh, Moscow to start spying on Ah, uh, yes, spying on the Russians. That's just <laughs> cliche America. Okay, you can end it now. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save the game. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my outro. Yes, of course. Um, it's gonna be cringy as ever. Yes. Just kidding. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for my awesome video. You can have a comment, question, concern, idea. Leave in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching and bye!